Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're back at it again. Who doesn't like new yards for your game? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I do love them. Because it's nice to have a variety for your game and everything. And yes, you can argue, well, SCS should be doing this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, but they're making the game for us and modders can enhance that game for us as well. But these yards are not that expensive. They're only like between $12, $13. This one's from Frankenstyle's Custom Mods. This is a uh, farm yard over here in Jasper. Jasper, Texas. Pretty much added his own little area for this yard. And it is a very, very nice yard. Let's go into the camera mode. And yes, I got me a mod finally with the extended camera angle. So you can see the entire thing. This entire section. Right through here. This is where you pick up your uh, your loads. And from here, you have a whole farm. Over there is your ranch. You can pretty much repair your vehicle. Sleep there, etc, etc. And it is an awesome mod beautiful landscape very detailed perfect but also we're back in the John Ritter 389 glider with a Bart's livestock trailer with a goggles 56 a skin Hills Creek skin for the trailer gives it that a uh, little looks like horse crap all over it you can change the colors whatever you want to. I just figured the red went well with the truck. Different nodes and everything for his trailer. It has been recently updated to where you can actually fix and change every single panel piece on that trailer. It's awesome. Also running the uh, 3D Combars wheel packs. He's got four wheel packs. Several different types. And uh, you can go from 24 inch and 32 inches. I got some 32s on here. It looks pretty beast with the John Ritter truck. But today we are delivering us some uh, yearlings. Going to, we're in Jasper, going to Tyler, Texas. Not really a big long haul. Taking it to. Tractor Supply Company. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Just picked it out so that way we can have a run here. 210 miles. It ain't going to take long to do. But uh, let's fire it up and get rolling. Seven twenty nine in the AM here. Running the uh, JBX and PNGs. Graphics mod upgrades makes it entirely amazing in many ways now I have had somewhat of an issue with the uh, some of the horses and stuff like popping in and out some of the cattle I don't understand why that is but uh, but yeah this one all the his yards as well comes with uh, this says Jasper farm on it but you can actually change that to put your own type of logo and everything on it so it's pretty neat it's a good thing we got to turn right not left I think I'm also running the uh, summertime seasonal from uh, Grimes Mods. And it's a freebie mod, uh, but everything will be linked in the description below where you can get all this. Oh, 
classic. I need to get the uh, classic mod uh, trailer, not trailer pack, but the uh, traffic pack from uh, Jazzy Cats. He's got one for classic cars as well. And this being a summertime thing, you know they'd be bringing out these classics. I am running the uh, smoke mod for the uh, traffics, but it doesn't work for every traffic truck. Only certain ones. I think it's if it's stock SCS trucks, but there's ones on here that are modified because uh, where you use modified trucks and everything. So let's uh, do some interior driving. I haven't done it in the last one, so we're gonna do it in this one. And John Ruder's trucks are beautiful. He just added the update of a new f flare pack and everything for his trucks. And I know he's going to keep updating them because everybody keeps, you know, say, hey, I want this on my truck or that on my truck. And and he uh, comes through with it. Takes him a while to do, but, you know, I'd rather it take him a while to do it and it come out and be buggy and stuff like that. So this trucks works very well. Can't wait to. Uh, I think in my last video I mentioned about getting the steering wheel and pedals. I can't wait to get that. Says it's supposed to be here by Tuesday. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what the update says on the uh, shipping. Oh, I just passed up my turn. Just realized that. We're going to do a loop de loop. Because I'm an idiot and wasn't paying attention to my GPS because I was talking. So we'll just do a loop de loop here. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to your GPS. And now once we go the other way, but now nah, we're, we're going to turn like we're supposed to here. Once the traffic is through. And the one thing about changing your G traffic really does add a lot more spawn ins and everything. So it gives it more of a lively uh, feel. And it's not hard to do. You just go into your configuration for the game and uh, put it in. Just change the number and save it and it'll change the uh, amount of uh, cars spawning in. Hey look at there. Delivering a helicopter. I kind of figured I'd tag that because that was a little tight. Maybe when I get my steering wheel, I'll do a lot better with it. It's not difficult with controllers. It's just very hard to determine when you're trying to look and stuff at the same time. And also, maybe later on, I'll get the track IR. I like to have that to where I can just move my head and it moves the camera for me. And uh, that would be an awesome upgrade. to that so <laughs> looks like he's want to go left but we gotta go right like nobody there and then they show up here soon I'll be getting back to the million mile run I think I'm really just waiting on the uh, steering wheel pedals to get here before I start doing any more of it because I want to be able to drive with the steering wheel and pedals now I don't have the shifter uh, I just got the pedals and wheel with it because um, it was on sale and um, I'm thinking of uh, 
get the shifter later on. And then I can do some uh, shifting on my own. Learn how to do it. John Rudy's trucks. I also like the Hater build, the Ironworks IW900. I mean, a lot of trucks on here I really like. I also like the Dom's 379 uh, freebie version, even though it doesn't have a lot of customization to it, but what it does have, it's really nice. I would like to have the full version, but kind of tight on money. I ended up having to buy a catalytic converter and its tire exhaust system and uh, getting that put on so it just kind of cut me short being able to do anything right now. So I gotta watch my money because I still gotta put gas in and make sure I got gas money for until my next payday and all that good stuff. And I gotta pay for rent and all that next check. And so I just gotta watch it. Just gotta watch it. And eventually I'm going to get me a new uh, video card. I'm going to get me like a 3070, I think. I've decided to. 3070. Kind of wish I got it and just went ahead and put that little extra to the... Whenever I was getting the computer the first time when I was ordering it. Should have went ahead and just got the uh, upgraded video card. But I was on a budget, so... You're on a budget. You have to work with what you got. Kind of wish I put a little bit more towards it because I knew the video card part was 3050 is all right. It's not the greatest, but but of course I've also learned that the Windows 11 messes with a lot of games that are on Windows 10, so that could be my possibility of sometimes still getting lag in it, even with a uh, you know even though I take off a lot of things to. Trying to make the frames better. So everybody, you gotta have good frames in order to be able to play your game, because if you don't, it just lags up crazy. Oh, I'm just so excited to get my steering wheel soon. Can't wait. Hopefully it'll be here Tuesday. If not, it'll probably be like Wednesday. Because usually it's like a day off whenever it tells you one thing on this shipping stuff. Because it doesn't update, right? So it may be Wednesday when I get it. But either way, we'll uh, test her out when we get it and get it set up and everything. And try to uh, we'll try to do more uh, back ends than... Uh, me just doing the normal pull in straight or whatever we I do all the time gonna get done with the uh, run so yeah I'm ready to do some back in back again and see how horrible I am at backing I'm not too bad but I'm doing it with a steering wheel because I've never had a steering wheel with a game I've always used controllers and I used to do keyboard but keyboard catting kind of sucks Unless you're playing like um, World of Warcraft or some, you know, your person. But with cars, I don't know how I did the first time when I was younger. But I tried doing it now with a keyboard, with racing and stuff. And just, I just suck at it with the keyboard. And that's why I got to have a controller for it. So, yeah, I try not to uh, worry about it there. Ooh, I might want to slow it down a little bit. Didn't realize I was going that fast. It's 45 through here. Well, I'm going to slow it down anyway because I'll be making a right turn. Love that GPS where I can put it up there at the top. It's like 
pretty much about out of the way. Lufkin. Lufkin. Luf no, Lufkin. Okay. Lufkin. Not sure. Oh, there's Hitachi. And then after I get my steering wheel pedals, the next project will be to get me a button box so I can free up some buttons on this keyboard. I'm not waiting around for that. We're going to squeeze through here. To get a button box would be great. I know it's you go to ATS accessories, but I've also seen some pop up on my Facebook called Sim Panel. Uh, I'm just kind of curious uh, if anybody's used those and if they're any good because it's a little bit cheaper than your ATS accessories button pack button box. So if anybody's got one let me know in the comments uh, so I can see exactly if they're any good or not. Because that would be another thing. I'm going to try to get the button box with the uh, um, CB radio with it so that way when I do some convoys and everything I don't have to worry about pushing a button on a keyboard and with the 1.47 I just read uh, they're actually doing uh, upgraded sounds with their pack with that pack uh, patch so that's going to be kind of curious on if that breaks the sound fixes that I use, uh, sound fix mod that we use on the Steam Workshop. I guess we'll see. I could do the beta run and see what breaks it so I can plan on ahead and see if uh, I would need to do anything different with my uh, profiles and stuff. I got a lot of trailers I can use, I got a lot of trucks I can use, but I need to stick to one, which is why I made that profile for the one million mile run. That way we have one truck to get a million miles, but uh, with me keep playing with all these other mods, I ain't going to be able to get no miles if I don't run it. So yeah, I also got plans on changing the design of it, but we have to save up some money so I can own my own trailer and start uh, building a company up so I can start making money off them to give me that extra extra cash. Yeah, we're going to do everything to the book on that profile, stopping at uh, way stations and everything. So... Hopefully, uh, we'll start back. Well, I'll start about that back right when I get my steering wheel and pedals. Because I also have another mod I got to show you all. I did one on the uh, large distribution center, and I, this one's with the uh, Jasper Farms. And now I got another, I also have another uh, yard from Matt BT that has, uh, it's a heavy haul yard in uh, Odessa, Texas. And that one's a real nice one as well. And you can pick up whatever loads and everything as long as you download his custom load uh, load uh, add-on. There we go. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Custom load add-on. And then once I figure out how to edit the signs and stuff, uh, I may do a tutorial on that so that way anybody else who don't know exactly what they're doing, never done it before, um, I have an idea how to do it. I just got to find time to do it. Can't wait because I'm going to put my own logo on it. trailer out of the way. 
so we're good. Almost there. This is a great, great mod. I love John Reuter's trucks. I do kind of wish he had a little bit more. Oh, I forgot I had that on her. Uh, wish I had a little bit more customization on the interior wise, but it's all good. I'm pretty sure later on he'll probably add more to it. I'd like to have a uh, being able to have your own special mats. That'd be cool. Being able to edit your own uh, mats. So that way you can have your own customized mats. Not missing this lot because you're slow. And this is a wonderful mod, but uh, I think Pinga also has a livestock mod. I'm not sure if it's been updated or anything. I haven't really used it in a while, but um, a freebie one that's on the Steam Workshop from Pinga. He has a livestock one there. There's quite a few freebie ones that's on the Steam Workshop, uh, trailer-wise. There's there, there's also a uh, log log one, but a lot of them don't have that much customization to it. Bart's uh, livestock trailer, since he redone it, it's got a lot of customization to it. You can do a lot of things with it. And then adding Goggles 56 is uh, skin for it uh, makes it 20 times better, if you ask me make it look like it's kind of rough got cow crap or horse crap all over the sides which is about what you look look at whenever you see a livestock trailer going by they're dirty they ain't really clean unless they take the time to clean them so I mean even the yards the yard, uh, cattle yards has special um, we call that the uh, those little ramp things. I forget what they call them, but they it's so they can get the cattle and stuff on top of your in your trailer. Uh, it uses that, or you can or it'll tell you to park around back of the barn uh, to get some freight, which is a little bit more difficult to do. It's a little tight on that farm when it comes right down to it. But if you know how to drive it, you can get in there and get it because it doesn't have that skippable. Uh, thing that the SES one does to where you can skip the uh, loadout and back it into the uh, pickup area. So go back on the exterior view here. We're almost there. A couple more miles. It's got to get past this light. Z mods, engine sounds. I forget which one I put in this one. I got so many mods and profiles, and not a whole lot of profiles, but just a lot of mods. I forget which engines I put in these trucks. Now there are some mods you get that don't, can doesn't support Z mods, engine sounds, but if you know where to get the name from, it uh, whereabouts, you can actually use his generator and it'll generate the uh, open def for it and uh, give you the options to be able to add that truck to it so and I actually did that the other day because I have a freebie W900A that I used uh, didn't support Zmod sounds and I did the generator uh, for that engine pack which is the I think I used the DD60 series and it worked really good as long as you get the name of the truck and put on the uh, in the generator name it'll uh, put the open def on the engine sound and it'll pull it up for that truck so just gotta know how to figure out the engine names or the truck names my bad 
Kind of wish the interior sounds had a open def to where you can add other trucks that can use the uh, interior sounds. Because a lot of trucks, or some of them I found, that don't even use the uh, interior sound pack at all. So, that would be nice to be able to use. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Love that skybox. It's amazing. <gasps> no, no way. All right, there's an issue. <laughs> oh, lovely. That was an issue right there. That's interesting. Very interesting. Haven't had an issue before. That's the first one I've had. Go ahead and disable that. I'll turn this down a little bit. Change my resolution and everything with clear. It's the first time that's happened. Let's go back into it, see if it'll pick us up back where we saved off. Because I never had an issue like that before, because I did a test run on it before, before I went back over there and grabbed another load, and it didn't do that before. So, that's kind of weird. See where it left us off at. So you know it saves in between the runs. Unless my computer's tripping. But it shouldn't be. Cool, it saved us down the road. Sweet. Let's try this again and see what happens. Go ahead and skip the light so we can get over here. First time that's done that, I don't know. That's weird. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know why Tractor Supply needs a thing of cows, little yearlings. Let's see if it'll do it again. If it does it again, I'll have to send him a message with my game log, and that way you can see what's going on with it. Because I never had this problem before. Unless there's an update that went out I didn't get. Okay. Well, I did it this time, so I don't know what the deal with that was. That was weird. Very, very weird. So, I don't know. My computer's been doing weird stuff, too, lately. I'm going to check and see if there's anything in the background running. Because i got to update with my MSI center to control my RGB and stuff. And possibility could be messing with it now because it wasn't doing this before before I got the update so other than that look at that got it to work this time cow hub there you can actually change that um, top right there with his mod to a decal sign that you want to do which I if I can figure that out I'll do uh, probably my logo on it do my own personal logo other than that if you like this video give me a like subscribe and a share so other people can get the uh, mods from ones I use anyway that I have found that work very well. And I think that was just a hiccup with my computer, to be honest with you. Because I didn't do that before, and I got this update for my MSI Center. 
and then all of a sudden my computer's running kind of crap so I'm kind of wondering if it turned on something or would be running in the background that I don't know about but the likes and shares actually help get that content out there and helps me out tremendously so other subscribers can subscribe to my channel and if you're new welcome it's a uh, ooh, there it goes look at that all right something's going on with it i'm having issues with my computer so i don't know if it's the mod because my, the mod didn't do that before i think it has to do with my computer i want to figure out what's going on with it but other than that well, we made it to a point, and I don't know why it's screwing up like that. I'm not sure if it's the mod or what. I have to look in the game log and see what's going on with it. But uh, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe. It does work. I've worked it before, but like I said, I got this new update and everything, and it seems to be messing with my computer right now. So I have to go in there and see what's going on with it. But I shall see you all in the next video.